And we're live. Yo, I'm Random, and this is Fado Boy. And today we're gonna discuss why The Boys is better than any MCU show. So, would you like to start, Fado? Yes, sir, Random. All right. So, as a summary for for all the things that uh, in recent years, uh, Disney has kind of started to make a fuck ton of content, like a serious amount, and I really think it's been limiting the potential that some of these MCU projects have limited. But with one simple superhero series named The Boys, with just three short seasons, we have gotten a lot more meaningful content in that one series than we have in like seven Disney Plus shows. I completely agree. But you can't blame like the writers or the special effects artists since Disney wants to pump and dump everything. Like, it, they're focusing now on quantity and not quality. They're basically like McDon the McDonald's of entertainment now. Their last good movie was fucking Spider Man. Yeah, well, uh, on on your point of the whole uh, writers and and special effects artists being uh, being rushed, I'd say more the the VFX artists. Like you, you take a look at say the recent clips on Thor: Love and Thunder, and god damn it, man, that movie looks like utter dog shit. I I, I want to be wrong. I hope the movie's good, but. Man, uh, I saw a Twitter post of Natalie Portman. She's literally like in front of some sort of sc green screen or maybe the, a bad version of the volume. It looks terrible. The writers, uh, I think the writers have a lot more time than the, the, than the VFX artists. Uh, I think most of the writing and the floss just due to incompetence or studio interfering. Plus, you got to keep in mind, they have to write all of this to make sense for a bunch of different shows and projects. Like, every single MCU TV show feels like a commercial for another one, in my opinion. Yeah, that, that, that's what I said about, uh, you, you know, the whole studio I interfering, like the new Doctor Strange movie. Oh, yeah, yeah, we yeah. had, like, there were reshoots. That's why we had the fucking Illuminati scenes, and they felt so off, and a lot of the green screen was pretty bad. While the rest of the movie looked pretty good, if you've seen the new Doctor Strange movie. I have not, but honestly, I never give a shit about spoilers, unless it's something... I'm really hyped to see. Oh, it, it's understandable. The, the movie's fine. Okay. Next up, Camilla. <laughs> like, I'm gonna... If this video does well, I'm gonna set up a Patreon to put this guy on Suicide Watch. Because for the love of God, like, he's watching <laughs> uh, Miss Marvel right Man, now. I, I, I follow a lot of pretty decent YouTubers on Twitter. Like, not, not the shitty... This is so woke. This is bullshit. Oh my god! I, I am an insecure man child. No, I, I follow the good kind, and they, and they keep telling that oh, Miss Marvel is like the best show of all time in the MCU. I'm like, man, it's so mid. It's so average. I mean, if you like it, that's fine. But I do not feel the same way. Uh, I I don't know, man. Especially with that little little bit right there. The it. <laughs> yeah. Was she Latina? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm supposed to say Latinx now, right? Also a slam dunk for the Latinx market. We <laughs> uh, I'm gonna compare like that scene to like the boys right now, because when sh they said it, they meant it unironically, but with the boys, it, it's like a corporate, like trying to find out what would do best to sell products. So, and the boys is just a parody. Yeah, it's it's a really damn good parody. Fucking hell, man, I love it. Have you seen the new episode? Have you seen the new episode? The the first, the literally the first scene was them making fun of the whole. What what you remember in twenty twenty when the world w was starting to end and Gal Gadot did that cringy ass. Imagine. Yeah, that? yeah, yeah, dude, dude, dude. That's not the that wasn't my favorite. My favorite one was when the was when A Train did like a parody of the Pepsi trailer. Dude, oh, that shit was fucking lit. <laughs> Man, that, that's one of the reasons why the show is just peak, man. It's it's just, it takes risks. It, it does it does something. It has balls. It, it has balls. And it isn't bogged down by this constant cinematic universe that honestly things should have ended in 2019. Make a few changes and it would have been fine. But dude, Disney wants to like silly the next shit over and over and over again, man. Like that's why they're like this. Yeah, man. <laughs> But the same thing is happening to Star Wars too. They're doing a, a bunch of shit. Some of it looks interesting, some of it not. But anyway, back to the boys and Marvel. Uh, I remember this part in season one where they were like trying to do like a very Christian, like um, anti-gay stuff, 
And then when May when Homelander forced Maeve to come out, um, they started like paddling progs of her in the dust. And it's like that for me is like the perfect um shown of what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. It's like one thing that I don't like is like I don't care if if you show two gay guys kissing in this in a movie. I, I honestly couldn't give less of a shit. But my problem with it is that they're always gonna show it and they're gonna pretend like they just solved cancer or whatever. And then they're going to edit the scenes out in, like, homophobic countries like China, Afghanistan. Because they need those commie dollars. I oh, mean, that, 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 that's true, man. The fucking... In The Force Awakens, Finn was, like, one of the major parts of the movie. He was in, in the marketing of the film in, in China and all these other countries. Oh, it, like, he was racist, significantly dude. reduced. Like, that, that, shit, that shit was fucked up. Yeah, dude, that... Like they're all BLM or whatever, but they, but the, they shrunk Finn like a lot, man. Yeah, and only now they're yeah. starting to defend it because of the whole Moses Ingram thing got out of hand. I mean, better late than never, but still, man. Let's talk about stakes and and ha- because the new episode had me on on my heart racing when when Homelander was fighting Butcher and Soldier Boy, and like I was. I was fucking worried, man. Like, I, I did not know what's going to happen. Yeah, sure, the actors confirmed season four, but I kind of forgot when that shit happened. Yo, dude, like, that scene was fucking lit because I thought, holy shit, shit's about to go down here. And, like, dude, seeing Homelander after it, 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 it felt like he, like, was embarrassed because the only thing Homelander is is a bully with superpowers. Speaking of Homelander, you know who's living that Homelander lifestyle? Ezra Miller, man. Oh, God. <laughs> What what is going on with with that person? No idea. He's just crazy. Like he assaulted like a couple and tried to kill them at like um at Hawaii. He like um he threw a chair at a lady and he went batching in a karaoke. And now he's coming. Now some reports like allegedly because. You know, he's living that homelander lifestyle, so they might cover this up, so I have to say allegedly. He groomed an, a teenage activist, and that type of stuff. Oh, Lord. Yeah, 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 like... I saw a new report where... A new one? He, I saw a report where he was... Where he's in a barn loaded with guns and a family. 